In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to give your forms a web page feel with the mouse move event. And the mouse move event is uh, an event that fires when you hover your cursor over a certain control. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this particular uh, form into a switchboard, but instead of using buttons and radio buttons and your kind of your normal uh, orthodox ways of selecting your next step in the application, I'm actually going to use these labels here as the event drivers, and I'm going to make these labels come alive with the mouse move event. I'm going to make them pop out, turn red, and maybe even make them, make them bold. So let's get started by applying some basic mouse move event to all of these labels here. I'm going to right click on the label, hit properties, click on mouse move, and then code builder, and go into the code. And I'm basically going to change some of the attributes of this label. So me, uh, label zero is this particular label, font bold equals true. I'm going to make the font bold and then me label zero uh, font size I'll make the font size um, equals 12 and then me label uh, four color and I'll make this uh, 255 which is red and that's it for this one and then I can do that for all the other labels and I've applied the same attributes to all the labels on the form here so let's go ahead and test this out so as I hover each one of these labels, it'll take the attributes that we've assigned them, be bold, turn red, and change the font to 12. Okay, so we're almost there. What we really need to do now is basically make sure that every one of these labels goes back to its original state when another label is selected. For example, if I select products, it'll turn red, bold, and 12-pitch font. But when I pick suppliers, products should go back to the way it was. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. The first way is a little clumsy, but it's the easiest way, and that's basically to go into the mouse move event of every label, and for every attribute that I set for this label that I'm working with, I'm going to set the opposite attribute for the other four labels. For example, if label zero is font bold true, font size 12, and four color 255, I'm going to make every other label the opposite, font bold false, font size 10, and four color, uh, the original four color 86068. And and I'll do that for every one of these labels, right? So you'll have essentially uh, one label changing to the new attribute and four other labels changing to the, the old attribute. And as you can imagine, if you have to do that for every single one of these labels, you the code behind the form will get pretty extensive, especially if you have 10 or 15 labels, not just 5. And not only that, but if you have to delete a label, uh, then you would have to go back into this code and uh, delete any reference to a label 17, let's say. So anyway, there's a more effective way and a more efficient way to do that, and that way is basically to create a private sub behind this form whose only job is to reset all the labels on the form, uh, no matter how many there are, and to their original state. So what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a, a private sub, and we're going to call it uh, Reset Labels. And we're going to do a for each statement. And the for each statement will kind of enumerate through all the controls um, and say that, hey, if this control is a label, we'll, we'll do these things to change the attributes to them. So the first thing we have to do is basically declare a variable called my controls, my control, as a control. Then we're going to say uh, for each my control in me control and that basically means for each control in me which is the form that we're on we're gonna say if type name my control equals label then do all this attribute changes to it. So basically it says uh, for each control in the form that we're on uh, check to see what type of control it is. If the type of control is a label then do all this stuff to it. If not we're just going to ignore it and then we'll say and if and then next my control and the next my control is basically going to loop around uh, to another control and it's going to basically enumerate through all the controls on the form until it's done them all. So now that we've built this procedure that resets the labels, I can actually call this sub uh, anytime I want within the form uh, whenever I need it. So I can come up here and say uh, label zero mouse move 
I'm going to do all this stuff, but before I do, I want to call reset label. That way, it's going to reset all the labels back to its original state before I run this uh, attribute change. And I'll do the same thing for every single one of these labels. So let's go ahead and test this out. And so now, as I click on each one of these labels, uh, all the other ones get reset first, and then this label gets the new attributes, and it makes it look like I have some sort of a web page effect going.